In this video, we will discuss the amazing recovery of a very sick equestrian horse in California, having been fed fodder for just a very short period of time. Recently, one of our clients received a call from a distressed horse owner in California. She reported that her horse was suffering from Cushing's disease and wanted to know if our fresh green feed could help. This was much like a racehorse trainer from Florida who we assisted with EMS previously. Cushing disease is also known as PPID and is essentially a hormonal imbalance that sometimes occurs in horses. According to Ranwick's Equine Centre in Sydney, Australia, there is no cure for the disease. Some of the symptoms include reoccurring bouts of laminitis, abnormal coat hair and lethargy. Tests conducted by the Mission Equine Hospital in California on November the 23rd, 2020 showed the ACTH levels of 189 and this was just before this particular horse was started on a fodder supplement. On the 10th of March 2021, a second test was conducted to look at the impact of what adding fresh fodder to his diet would have. Now it is important to point out that this horse was fed just 10 pounds per day during this period. The results were tremendous as the second test showed a new reading of 104, a staggering reduction of 85 picograms per milliliter, or nearly 45%. Remember, this was only after a three month period on fodder. Another important change in results were the hemolysis results which relate to potential anemia. The first test showed a level of 29, which according to the report is considered mild hemolysis. The subsequent test again showed a significant reduction to just 10, which according to the report, estimates no hemolysis. So what does this all mean? To answer the question in part, here is what the horse's owner had to say. Here are the two most recent blood work for horse X on November the 25th, 2020 and March 10, 2021. You are looking for the ACTH measure. These labs cover when I started him on the fodder until now. Please note that X does not have a blood sugar problem, which a lot of Cushing horses have. Thank God he does not have this. For him, the fodder seems to be doing good things. One thing I have noted, his coat is velvety soft. His blood work has a drop from 199 to 104, which is equaling 89 points. Very exciting. I do blood work approximately every six months. I'll keep you posted. And in talking about another horse this owner has, and X is doing great. She's put on weight and has stopped eating shavings and doesn't try to colic anymore. She's a hard working lesson horse. I wish we would have photographed her. She has made a change for the better. She looks very happy and healthy. Thank you. This result poses several pertinent questions. If these results were achieved after just three months, what will happen after the horse is fed over a longer period of time? Would the horse be in this position at all if fresh fodder was fed from the outset? What are the ancillary benefits that we are yet to see, such as improvements in other areas and reductions in veterinary costs? We already know from a previous video that fresh fodder reduces colic and ulcers in stabled horses, and that fodder assists digesting dry feed such as grain or hay. So the real question here is, why aren't we all feeding this amazing product to our horses, particularly the ones that need to perform at optimal levels for sustained periods? Thank you for watching, and I hope that this helps you in your decision to start feeding the freshest and healthiest feed on the planet.